So I have some unfortunate news, Wooly. I died. Now, now, hold on, hold on, hold on. V? Hold on. Through the powers of the dark side, I mean the light side, I have achieved balance, and I have now become one with the force, and I am now a force ghost. So, are you a force ghost? Okay, I may have Obi-Wan this shit, Are you but, a, Are you force ghosting but, my house right now? Uh, okay, listen, I may have been here for a while, I'm, I'm sorry. Motherfucker! But, why didn't you tell me? Uh, well, you could have started last week with your force, force ghost ass. Listen, I was still trying to figure out how to like take a corporeal form. Hold on, give me a second. I'll see if I can do it. Just give me a, give me a second. Oh shit! He's not blue. There we go. It's there. I, I took a physical form. See? He's not glowing. Force powers. Blue. Now I'm good. Oh my god. <laughs> How's it going, guys? And you haven't been replaced with a different actor. No, no, I have not. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh wow. How about that? Oh. What is up? Hey. Speaking, could you imagine being having your voice replaced by someone else and then having your actual act your face, face? replaced by another person? The I would be so fucking salty. <laughs> Completely removed from, <laughs> from all relevance. Horrifying. Ugh. <laughs> uh. How's it going, Willie? I'm pretty good. How are you? I'm alive. Yes. I had the flu, and uh, I don't know, although, because of uh, not being an essential service person, I uh, cannot tell if I had the flu or the flu. So, uh, yeah, but I had basically every um, symptom except the COVID symptoms, which is right. really interesting. The, that's the weird part. Yeah, like, uh, all right, the worst symptom, like, I had chills, I had... Um, uh, aches, you know, sinus headaches, all sorts of stuff like that. But the worst symptom. All right, everyone, I would, uh, I would, um, like you to just imagine. Okay, I want you to imagine a crime scene. All right, like you're walking into a crime scene, right? Like you know, t typical B movie detective thing, right? And you walk up, and you see the uh, the outline of the corpse, right? Like mm -hmm. the, the the white chalk outline of the corpse. Mm -hmm. Now I want you to just imagine that outline filled with sweat. Oh, yeah. So I thought I actually pissed the bed. Wow. It was that bad. And then I got up out of the bed, and there was a perfect outline of my body, not only in the bed, but in the blanket oh my above God. it. I'm pretty oh. sure I lost like two or three liters of water a night. It was bad, man. But uh, luckily, I uh, then replenished with water and felt better. But that was like five days of that shit. Uh, we actually we just laid towels under the mattress and ev or in the mattress and under everything and and in the pillow just because it was getting that bad. Sweaty v mills. Sweaty v mills. Damn. But, okay. Yeah. After about like day five, it was like, oh, I'm back. I'm back. We were just taking precautions to make sure that uh, if it was, you know. The yes. flu. Yes, exactly. So just in case anyone didn't hear me uh, describing it um, on the podcast or anywhere else uh, in advance, what we're describing took place three weeks ago. Yes. And um, again, it is a 72-hour thing where usually you give it about three days of being in the clear before uh, you want to... Um, you know, yeah, interact, interact with anybody just to be safe. Uh, we gave those three days, three weeks to be ridiculously safe. Yeah, because the uh, the COVID one is uh, fourteen days from first symptom. Yeah, so we were like, let's just treat it like it is. Mm -hmm. And the weirdest part is, I still have no idea where I got it from. The only thing I can think of is like. My fiance got it at the grocery store because she was also sick with completely different symptoms yeah. and not nearly as bad as I did. Just want to clarify. I see you there in the chat person. No, there's 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 two weeks from first uh, showing of uh, two weeks from symptoms, basically 14 days of isolation and then uh, 72 hours of showing no symptoms. Yes. So basically at the at the end of your recovery, you want to wait for those three days, but you want to give it you know, that extra time just in case. So what, we're, what I'm saying is both of those were observed mm -hmm. plus extra time. Yeah. Basically, just, I want extra, everyone to be very clear. And like that. the reason there was a there was a delay the first time. This is the second delay with the Let's Play uh, for really weird things. I usually only get sick once a year and I got sick twice a year in the in the span of like two or three weeks. And actually, the last time I had the flu was about 15 plus years ago. Mm. Uh, so I caught a cold at um, Disney World. And just was like, all right, well, not only do I have a cold, I'm coming back from a foreign country, lock that shit down, let's just make sure. 
and then this happened like what a few weeks after that so it was just it's been a weird year for me i've never been sick twice in this in a year let alone the span of like a month it's been it's been weird so i'm weird, glad that you're better times i'm glad that you're feeling good so am i um, i am very excited as we left off at a very very good point yeah at a very cliffhangery point in uh in the let's play and uh yeah and that's nice but most importantly i'm glad you're better because really it's about the fact that I was finally able to get these. <laughs> Dude, I've been waiting on these for a while now. Oh, they're so good. So they're so good. We've got the Vader issues, the full run here. They were in a. They were in order, by the way. I had them. I had them in order from top to bottom. Yeah. So now I'm gonna. Them up. No, I'm gonna cycle back. Yep, I'm not. Yep, yep. You know. Yep. It's just there. You go, and then back to here. There you they go. are excellent. I've been meaning to, to 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 a lot of quotable panels have been pulled from this stuff. So I would like to. Uh, go Unfortunately, it. this isn't the series with the, I'm all, I'm surrounded. All I see is dead men. Like I'm surrounded by dead men. That's from the other That's Vader the one. Other Vader That's series. That's the other. One. But there is still some good shit in here. I okay. would say there's better shit in here. And this is recent. This is 2017, 2018. Right. And then the other Vader one is like two or three years before that. There's a series before that. I don't have that one, but, but uh But this was like post Force Awakens. Yes. Right. So this is new canon, I think, technically. So Okay. Okay. It's good shit and uh highly recommend it. And uh to this day, Vader, still best Sith Lord. Out of all the Sith Lords, still my favorite. Like there's some like I know we're playing a game with some cool boys in it right now, but Vader's the best one. He's still the best one. Cool. He's one of my favorite villains cool. of all time. Uh, I, I, yes, I, I look forward. I look forward to it. Um, the, this is the, uh, the Order 66, though, one, right? Absolutely. <laughs> it's yes. so good. Order 66, man. Yeah, yeah, okay. Okay, good, 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 good. <laughs> Honestly, I, I don't want, I don't want to build the expectation too high, but it's yeah, up there it's with, a- it's up there with the saga, she died the same way she lived. Okay. Like it's up there with that. If you're familiar with that panel from I'm Saga, not. where with the with oh, the, yeah yeah with yeah, Saga. yeah yeah yes, yeah yes. yeah yes, yes, yeah yeah with Saga. Yes yeah yes, sorry. It's, it's up there with that. Totally. It's up there with totally. that when it ha- when it hits. So strong. It's very very strong. Very strong. Okay. Oh boy! All right. Yes, I kind of forgot that the last thing that happened was that we ran into Kando. All right, all right. First off, yes, I'm not dead. I survived. The, the flu didn't kill me. There I have, you go. I know, I know Kando the Mando is in the room, but I have very important... Some, I, have a, I have a statement that I must correct, and we must get it out of the way real quickly here. I have to apologize for getting this information wrong. So you remember in uh, Force Awakens when they blow up the core worlds mm. with the giant's death laser? None of those were Coruscant. All scouts oh. Coruscant's still alive. Okay. Coruscant's still there. Well... Coruscant's still there. Basically, uh, according to the the wiki dive, I when I was in a flu system, Coruscant is still fine. They changed the the capital from Coruscant to some other planet, and it, it was the planet that, that looked pla- like Coruscant, and that planet got blown up. The one that looked like also Coruscant. the New yeah. Republic system was they were going to have a Senate that ro- that rotates different planets, like the buildings, like they rotate from planet to planet. So I think they got to planet number two and then got blown up. So it's Coruscant's still fine. Yeah, we saw. In fact, someone came, when we saw the like the the Jimmy Smith's balcony, I believe. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, no, that's not Coruscant though. Yeah, exactly. Shut up, that's not Coruscant. It's also, not. also, one last quick thing about Coruscant. So you know the end of uh, episode six when everyone's celebrating special edition and it's all the planets like, yeah, the Emperor's dead, we won, yeah, 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 stuff like that. Twenty like twenty minutes after the credits roll. Coruscant gets fucking Tiananmen squared by the Imperial Police. They just start shooting and killing them by the hundreds of thousands wow. that starts a civil war. Like, literally 20 minutes after that. It's rough. There was a massive civil war that lasts, like, a year on the planet. So we just cut to credits because it's a convenient moment, not because it's actually a celebration. And that's new canon. They're like, yeah, you know what? No, not a big celebration. Everyone gets horribly murdered and uh, and uh, it, engulfed in civil war. That's fucked up. So I'm just, I'm a, I apologize for getting it, for getting it wrong. I'm sorry. Coruscant did not get destroyed like literally everyone else thought. And to quote Elijah Wood, no. 
How would we know? How would we know? <laughs> yes. Uh, I'd like to thank everybody for providing me with lots of Mandalore armor, fan art, and official art. I was able to deeply enjoy the helmet and suit that were worn throughout the ages by different people, and it was very badass every time. I appreciate how much love the Mandalorians got. There's some cool shit in there. There's some very cool shit in there. Right. Okay, we so... We got some things to do here. So, we last left off. We talked to Cando the Mando. He said, impress me. Yeah, basically, go around, talk to everyone in the in the camp, and uh, if you impress me enough, we'll go to uh, we'll go to Onderon. We'll okay. fly into Onderon and uh, use the shuttle to get there, because our I... ship is currently being fixed by Atten, because I... Atten is not a party member. I don't remember why I'm hanging out with Goto or why he has levels. <sighs> yeah, honestly, I think... No, I remember. You wanted to pull him in to see what he could do. Okay. You wanted to pull him in to see what he could do. I do remember that. And I guess that moment is gone. <laughs> I mean... Again, to reiterate, I don't think I've ever once had Goto in the party. Ever. So, it sucks, because he's a cool character. He does some cool things. He's kind of useless as like a as a party member, though. He's, he's good against droids, and I'm going to tell you right now... Not a lot of droids we're fighting right now. Mm-hmm. All right, well, we can give him his level and send him on his merry way. I guess we could. Yeah, we leveled him up. I do remember that. So he's got, like, an extra level. Yeah, sure. ba 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 And good. Awesome. It does bug me, though, that his portrait, like, is, is the, like, the floating center. ball. Oh, it's completely off-center, and it bugs me so much. Very annoying. Yeah. Very annoying. Yeah. So uh, we, got, we got all kinds of good boys we can hang out with. You know? I don't see why we need to... Um, Gotta remove Godo first. Yep. Not here, not now. Oh, I guess we gotta go back into the jungle. Alright, that's fine. Alright, so, uh, Kando wanted to be impressed. So, we got a lot of Mandalorians to talk to here. A lot of Mandalorians to talk to. Your ship's pilot and gunner are both skilled. You destroyed many Onderon fighter craft in the recent space battle. That was you. Mm hmm. That mm -hmm. mean, you know. Hey, 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 boys! Oh, we got some training going on What's over going here. What's going on over here? And everyone stops. And bows. Oh, I thought they were going to stop and look at me. <laughs> I thought it was one of those, like... Yeah, stop and go, the fuck you do? <laughs> I also appreciate how you have the healing numbers over their head. Yeah. Because it follows game mechanics. And, uh, yeah. I feel like if we're going to get anything, we're going to get something from Zarga. I mean, I just want to get off this planet, but first I want to hang out with you guys. Who are you? I'm Zarga. I instruct our RAR Mandalorian recruits in the ways of discipline and battle. I sent one of my warriors, Kumas, into the jungle. It's been three days, and I want you to bring back his corpse and his survival pack. <laughs> sure he's dead? Oh, I love that. If Kumas wasn't dead, he'd be back already. If you find his body, just bring it back. I appreciate that. I appreciate the assumption <laughs> that, like, yeah, it's been like, three days, he's uh, dead. Just go get him, please. Just go get his corpse. Why do you want the body? Mm, good point. I don't want his body, just his equipment. <laughs> corpse and bring the gear back. <laughs> Practical. Uh, you know. I, I mean shit, dude. If I find the body, I'll bring back his gear. I'll keep an eye out for the body. Anything I find is mine. Not interested. Uh, yeah. If I find it was body, I'll keep an eye out for the body. Yeah, why not? That's pretty neutral. Great. Picked up a quest. Got a lot of quests picking up uh, here. I mean... They're not wrong. The Mandalorians do rise again. No, it's just, it's a, it's a turn of phrase. Yeah. <laughs> it's, yep. it's all. Yep. It's a little bit of a turn of phrase. Yep, yep. So yeah, we've got the insert faction will rise again. Maybe, maybe, maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe not as as grand as you think. Not gonna land. Not, not gonna not. land. We got some sp look dangerous looking wires here. Okay. All right. I bet if we talk to this guy next to us. Uh, Man, it's convenient. We have a lot of skills in repair and computer use. Can I help you out here, buddy? This jungle attacks anything made by man. Restoring the generators and computer systems is no easy task. Ah, well, uh, I'm really fucking smart. Big smarts. Take whatever help I can get. Whatever wires and tech haven't been corroded by the jungle are at least ten years old. 
What's the problem? Also, we have Beodor. We also have <laughs> Yeah, Beodor. yeah, so we're good. Several components are broken and need repair. Without the relay, we're vulnerable to attack, especially right now. Your space metal may have attracted unwanted attention, and our shuttle sensors can't cover the whole moon. Uh, we still talking about fixing your thing, buddy? Mm-hmm. Okay, all right. Well, uh, let's get working. Uh, seems just about everything involved with a relay dish is broken. I've been trying to fix it for weeks and still no success. I can take a look at it, if you will permit it. If you think you can help, there's the broken cables right over there, and the relay maintenance structures behind me. You can find the telemetry computer in there. The only thing I know for sure is we need a new phase pulse converter for the tracking computer. And where do we find this that phase pulse thing? In most space sports. Finding one here would be difficult. We actually already found one in an old weapons cache, but flaming Canox ate it. They ate it. Canox eat everything. That's a problem with Canox. They'll leave you alone if you keep your distance. But if you turn your back on the pests, they'll eat anything they can get in their mouth. And vermin. No challenge for a Mandalorian. Since they provide no sport, we ignore them. But you need the part. But exactly. So why don't you swallow your pride and get shooting? <laughs> Just gut every cannon you come across. You wouldn't believe the things you can find in those little beasts. Uh, so this that's... is a weird thing, because I feel like this is one of those this is one of the very few quests in the game that feels like a pretty low effort quest because mm -hmm. it feels like an MMO quest of just kill ten things, kill monsters, kill monsters, acquire thing, yeah. and also I think this is a good uh, Canox eating everything is a good in universe justification as to why they're on the random loot table and and as to why the Mandalorian badasses here have not are like are, are on the planet where they're still hanging out. Yeah, um, there must be another way. We checked the cash manifests and that's the only one that was in storage. It's probably the only working converter on this moon. Damn. They actually ate it. Mm-hmm. They're vermin. Yeah, already done that. All right. I uh, propose I find it, which we've already done, yes. which will get us out of here, and then, uh, yeah. All right, then. Come back when you have the converter, and we can see about getting these systems working again. I can't wait for us to kill a, uh, another Canock and just find a second set of XR <laughs> armor inside. So you we can what? Exactly. So we can go fix those cables right now. Ready to head back to your ship? Give the word and I'll take you there. No, thank nope. you. So that's just fast travel back to the start of the zone. Okay, so this guy is standing in front of the satellite. Oh, wait, satellite no. is further in the back. No, never mind. He's standing in front of these three things. But we can go fix those cables right now, which I recommend doing. Because that's just an easy, easy win while we're here. The camp is a lot bigger than you think it is. Power wires are damaged. Take a lot of skill. I have big skill. Big fix. Hey, remember when repair parts were like hard to come by <laughs> and you had to like, you know, you couldn't just Bring manufacture them. Oh wait, them. how many do I have? What? Yeah, could or just manufacture them in the dozens at a time. Hey, buddy. So we still gotta go fix the uh, the telemetry computer. That's in the further in the back, but okay. we'll, we'll we'll stumble across it as we explore more of the camp because there's a lot of camp here. You don't often see Mandos typing at computers and figuring out these things, so... Yeah, it's, it's kind of... I mean, they'd have to be, right? Someone's got to maintain the equipment. Yeah. yeah. Alright. I, I would assume that most people in the Star Wars universe have, like, at least a basic understanding of, like, computers, because you'd have to with how many computers you come at across. At the very least, like, typing and or interfacing. Yeah, I know. mean, if the Clone Wars have taught me, I think everyone's an expert at everything, apparently, even if no have no training. <laughs> I, I, except for maybe Kashyyyk, but I don't, you know, it's like they don't seem to have tech, but they do have tech. They do have some tech. I mean, they made blasters. Yeah, exactly. So no computers that much, though. Clearing out the worst of the beasts. But without our patrols, some of the larger beasts may be around. None of us will be around to bail you out of trouble. You've been warned. Okay, so did you just hire all your badass voice actors for this one section of the game? Because I approve. I approve. Ah, uh, you're gonna hear a lot of Mandalorians are just like, hey, what's hey, up? Yep, yep. It's the, uh, <laughs> what'd you call it? Well, I mean, it's basically, it's... <coughs> I actually, now that I think about it, it's very similar to the clones' voices. Oh. Uh, because, which would make sense. Yeah, although they're yeah. all based on the one guy. Yeah, right? exactly. But, but it's very similar to that clone voice, now that I'm actually thinking about it out mm, loud. 
out loud just thinking about it now. Gravelly tough guys. All right. Um, uh, why'd you call off your patrols? Our sensors picked up three ships landing in this area after the space battle. If any of the Onderon military comes searching for those ships, we don't want them finding our base. So there was my ship. There was the one that we, we fucking, fucking wrecked. wrecked. Like super hard. And the third? I don't know. It was some sort of freighter. It didn't land at any of the clearings along the path. Knowing some of the larger Duxon beasts, the crew is probably already dead. Hmm. So what are we going to do? Why, why are we hiding? Anything else on the moon? What do you mean by yeah. larger beasts? We got a few things we can do here. Wait, hold on a second. Uh, just to go back uh, a little bit earlier, Jango Fett, was he a Mandalorian? I mean, I'm pretty sure he is. Again, I don't know, like, prequel and and, and original trilogy stuff as much as... Uh, I, I would assume he was rocking that armor on the basis of the fact that he was. I mean, if Boba Fett's he a Mandalorian, wasn't. then Jango Fett was a Mandalorian. Appar uh, uh, the universe is saying apparently not. That's weird. When did that change? What, did he, like, leave? Legend oh, no. says yes, canon says no. I mean, well, whatever. Huh. He's a f it's Clan Fett. It's, <laughs> yeah, like, I mean, fuck That's off. That's weird. They retconned it? Okay. He was culturally, but not actually from Mandalore. Well, that's news to me. I, right. I did not know that. Okay. Um, how, why are you hiding from the Onderon military? The people of Onderon still live in fear of us. They were the first world we conquered in the Mandalorian Wars. Their resistance was laughable. We cut through their defenses like vibral blades through cloth. Isis fell within hours. If they knew we were here, they would eventually gather enough courage to attack us. It is not a battle we wish to wage. Yet. Really interesting way of framing that, by yeah, the way. Yeah. Why are you hiding from them? Well, we're such badasses. <laughs> we are so strong and cool. We just don't want to fight them yet. They would freak out if they knew we were here. So yeah. we need to keep the little babies from crying and guang wang too I, hard. I also appreciate the concept of <laughs> defeating an entire planet in hours. Yeah. Like yeah, uh, yeah. Half-Life does that too, where like Earth falls in like, what, seven hours? And it's just like, after seven hours, it's like, we give, we give, we're done, uncle, uncle. <laughs> it's it's a really fun way of framing the situation. Yeah. You know? um, okay. So is there anyone else on the moon here? Who knows? Our relay dish is down, and until Zuka repairs it, we're blind. Okay, so yeah, I need that yeah. too. The Onderon military has cordoned off the planet, so there shouldn't be anybody else down here. Still, our sensors occasionally pick up signals on the surface. It's like someone is searching the planet, and doing so under the noses of the military. Whoever they are, they've stayed clear of us. Hmm. Why would they search the planet? What's on here? I don't know. Duck Sun's all jungle except for this camp. Also, planet or moon? Because this is a moon. Right, right. <laughs> He's about to tell me, and then he starts getting those ha cloud head bzzzts yeah, moments. Yeah, yeah. Ah, 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 and an old lady around the corner going, Shut your mouth, you fucking ass, cut your fucking betrayal. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, God. I miss Granny. Where's she at? Um, All right, we're doing the relay dish. Uh, yes. What do you mean by larger? Oh, you're already doing that one, so. Zuka hasn't been able to get the damn thing up and running. You can find him in the eastern side. Yeah, I just want to see if any of these guys will be like, also, if you fix it, I'm going to give you this rad helmet, bro. Well, if it makes you feel any better, the quartermaster with all the Mandalorian gear is w is 180 behind you. Okay. Zakag. Yep, that's a name. Mandalorians. If you see one, stay out of its way. Without us to back you up, you'll be dead in seconds. Well, about that. I doubt that. About very that. much. I the little old bzzzt. Yeah. I used to roll with a crew. Uh, we kind of handled you guys, but don't worry about it. Yeah. What's a Zaki? A huge red lizard that's built like a Baragwan battle tank. It has a hide so thick it might as well be Durasteel plating. We keep clearing them out of the area, but they keep coming back. They're tough opponents for non-Mandalorians. Nah. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> yeah, I'm good. I can do it. You fight a Zakeg. If you survived such a battle, you'd gain much honor. Honor, you say? So I read about how, like, and I'm like, oh my god, they figured this out. Like, like uh, the... The, the origins of the, the original Mandalore, the mm -hmm, original mm -hmm. race, yep, and yep, like yep. all that stuff, and the whole um, 
uh, the, 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 the planet and how it was founded and such, right, from the offshoots. Yeah. And, like, about how, like, there's that beast that they had to live that, that was also native to the planet mm-hmm. that they had to take down. I forgot the name of it. But the shape of the skull is the same thing on Boba Fett's armor. Mm. And it's like, that's why that symbol is the sign of the Mandalorians. It's like that's that, cool. that skull shape is the beast that they had to kill. That's cool. That, and I'm like, oh, it makes sense. It explains the fucking skull. The one thing I regret not buying in Disney World is they had Mandalorian aviators. Mm. With a little with the little skull on the side of it. Yeah, and I'm like, yeah, yeah. I bought. I found. I bought the Imperial ones, the Imperial uh, sunglasses, but I didn't. Fu- I didn't buy the Mandalorian aviators, and I'm like, shit. The Mythosaur. Yeah, Goto's getting a little excited. Uh, you know, he's he's getting antsy. He's getting a little antsy. No beast on this moon is a match for me. That is true. That's a there, pretty cocky where's way the to, lie? to take this sentence. Strong words. It would be amusing to see you try to kill such a beast. Try the outlying jungle paths if you're determined to seek one out. And bring me back a trophy from your kill as proof of the deed. New quest acquired. There we go. Perfect. Also, if you catch any of my buddies, kick their bodies around for a bit and take their stuff and yeah. bring it back. I mean, it's practical, right? Like, we don't want the bodies. We yeah, don't care. Yeah. But we want the equipment. <laughs> just the fact that he clarifies. is like, oh, yeah, good point. Fuck that. Just bring his shit. So that's the exit out to the jungle. We don't want to go here yet. All right. Are you a teleporter? Nah, he's just a random rando dude. A rando mando, if you will. <laughs> Guard. S tier comedy right there. Yeah, so these guys are just, ooh, yeah, these guys are just, uh, just dudes. Uh, although that guy over by the fire, that guy's the quartermaster. Hey, hey, hey. So, you know. Hi, Kex. What do you Lol. want? <laughs> you greet everyone that way. Ah, uh, just you. You're no Mandalorian. I don't know why Mandalores let you roam free, but I don't trust you. I'm Kex, the new quartermaster. If a Mandalorian needs something, they come to me. Mandalore's ordered me to let you have access to our supplies, including some military-grade surplus. It's not free, though. You can pay with credits or trade in some of your gear. Doesn't matter to me. He doesn't sound like the kind of guy that kecks that much. Ah, uh, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I believe this kex predates that kex. Mm. Uh, let's see what you have. We are looking for a very specific gun, if they've got it. Uh, this is yeah. random table. This is, but we want the Ripper. Ripper is the best pistol in the game. Three to eight. That's Unstoppable. Unstoppable. No shield. No shield. No pocket. shield. No matter what. Yeah. Eighteen to twenty. Good crit. Okay. Attack modifier. So plus two to accuracy. Fully upgradable. Best gun in the game. Done and done. If we can get another one. We can do anyone who dual wields pistols. Give them that shit. Yeah, we're buying that. Absolutely buying that. Done it. and done. Yeah. That's the magic word. Best best guns in the game. Uh, also, some Mandalorian armor. Unfortunately, it does not look like you think it looks like. No, it doesn't. But it does have lots of defense, so if we want to stick it on someone with heavy armor. Heavy. Who's but rocking heavy right now? Unfortunately, um, the only one who has heavy armor, I think, out of our entire party is Handmaiden. But now she's a Jedi, which means there'd be some force powers she can't use because of the heavy armor. Atten's on medium. Atten's on medium. Bao's on medium. Also, again, ba- Bao Bam. can't Bao can't do heavy armor. You can, he's, he's limited to only only max medium armor and again same they're, problem, all jedis. they're all jedi ah. so uh yeah what the what's the point of heavy armor i guess if you make a sentinel or uh well if you make a, a soldier type like or like a guardian right, type thing right i mean the, well the point of it is like you can still rock heavy armor it's just you're limited with your force power use yeah. and uh, and on top of that it doesn't look good you're saying oh uh, no these ones actually they do look good it's just they don't look like the mandalorian armor they look like a cool version of the uh, of the armor they're wearing, like a similar w- version, but there's no helmet. Obsidian, just give me a little rotating model in the corner, please, so I could at least appreciate the the picture as opposed to like the little JPEG I have to squint at. Well, I mean, they can look at heavy armor. Heavy armor is better. No, well, I just mean I want to want to see what it, the, what yeah. the model looks like. Yes, uh, it yeah. looks similar to a set of armor we have. I would actually yeah. recommend that one, anyways, because it's just a good piece of armor to have. Because there will, we will, uh, there will be a character eventually that can can rock heavy. That armor. can wear heavy. Yeah, we are oh, still okay. we are still missing one more party member. So okay, there well, is. So we might as well just get it for the future. And guess what? Fully upgradable, so you can make it even better armor if you want. Okay, so uh, let me just see something here. Defense bonus eleven. This one is resistance twenty five versus electrical and uh, stun fear horror. So no no debilitating mental abilities. Um. 
Is it? Yeah, it's better. It's better. Okay. Absolutely better. Unequivocally better. Better defense bonus. I mean, you can tell by the by the how much it costs. It costs more money. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, I would grab heavy armor. The heavy armor still looks cool. And then, and then you can throw it on. have two of these and yeah. one of those. And all that. Yeah. Right. Grab the heavy armor, why not? What else has he got? Long sword, got two of those. Yeah. Heavy blasters are still good, too. They're not unstoppable, but they're still good. Like, the Mandalorian equipment is still pretty damn good, but it's the rippers are, like, the highest of the high, because these are all still fully upgradable weapons. Terrible crit, but... But, again, fully upgradable, yeah, yeah, 12 yeah, exactly. so they're still very good guns, but the, uh, hands down, the best one is the ripper, because it goes through everything. Mm -hmm. Can't put a shield up for it. Uh, what else? Assault rifle. Again, 3 to 14, plus Four. 12. That's pretty good, too. Yeah. Like I said, they make good guns, and at this point, we're rolling so much cash, we can just buy whatever the hell we want. Okay, I am... This is probably... So, the Ripper is, is, is going in someone's hands. Yep. This is probably better than the second best gun I have right now. I mean, you could probably... Uh, all the upgrades you have in the blaster rifle, or in the in the crit rifle we have right now that, for, um, um, for HK, we could probably throw all the upgrades in this. It, well, actually, at this point, we could probably make better crit upgrades. Well, that's what I'm thinking. Why not Why not go with the Ripper, which was uh, uh, a uh, 17, right? 17 to 20. Yeah, we could. So well, it was 18, but uh, yeah, oh, 18, and then we, 18, and then we 18, can fully yeah. upgrade it. But again, if we find, we'll find more rippers as we go. Like we'll be able to buy it. Like as we go with markets, we find rippers. Just buy all of them. They're all useful. Okay. Scoundrel gloves are good, but already we, our one scoundrel already has them on. We already have the. We already found them from a random drop, so wouldn't worry too much about that. If we're gonna get more rippers, then maybe I don't need to grab the assault rifle. Yeah, I mean, I mean, honestly, there's not a lot of party members we have right now that are ranged. Just because, well, I mean, we've got a lot of Jedi at this point. Like, the only one left who are ranged is HK, T3, uh, Godo, which, <laughs> no, mm -hmm. and uh, um, uh, Mira, which also, <laughs> no. Ooh, Mandal Mandalorian Chamber is good, too. The uh, the upgrade part at the bottom there. Uh, this There's a debuff is... of defense, but you get basically an entire extra blaster shot worth of damage you can put into a gun. Yeah, sure. So it lowers your defense, but it, it it's just... Yeah, it just adds way more damage. The Mandalorian upgrades are always good. Anything that says Mandalorian, you're good for buying it. I can't believe we didn't make a V has come to joke. Oh, v has come to. Well, <laughs> my, the uh, the one I was going to go with was... Uh, you cannot kill me! <laughs> I am a mango! <laughs> Ooh. So I feel like this is one of the few uh, uh, communities that would get that joke. Oh, dear. Ah, uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, and so. then the rest we can manufacture. Again, we have T3. T3 can make anything at this point, so we're, we're good. I, you know, I gotta say, I was hoping for a cool helmet at this shop, and I'm, uh, not, I'm we not won't. Seeing. The only way we can get the helmet you want the is unfortunately power. through mods. We can get it, <laughs> but, but we have to mod it. But, but, but. Okay, uh, tell me there's a table nearby. Oh, there's a, there's a both, and they're both further into the base. All right, let me just switch yep. over here. Oh, look, a bag. Might as well steal from Mandos. They're not going to get mad. No, they're not going to get mad. I mean, even if, even if they did, it'd be like, Peter Spike, last support pack, okay. You know, I could just be like, hey, man, you weren't using it. I'm going to be like, okay, well, I'll fight you. <laughs> yeah. Let's Actually, fight. on that note, I was playing um, Bioshock Infinite for the first time because uh, all the Bioshock stuff was free on PlayStation, mm. and uh, I just love the f yeah. There's there's environments where there's people walking around. You can just walk around, and just take their shit. Like you're just like literally walking up to the hot dog vendor, and there's just a hot dog on the on the thing. You just walk up and eat it, and mm. he doesn't get mad, doesn't say a damn thing. Yeah. But then there's also a stealing mechanic where you like you can't steal from this one object. You can take everything else in the room, but you can't take anything from this shelf. And it's like uh. Okay, this is not an exit. Good. Nope, this is the back of the yes. base, which okay. uh, you do want to go explore, because there's some cool stuff over here. Also, some more loot. Mm -hmm. Yep, some goodies. Another one here, too. I hear those swords uh, clinking. Aha! Uh -huh. Remember the Handmaiden fight? Aha! Uh -huh. Want to oh, do it look, again? It's another... Area of cool combat. Mm hmm. So you are the visiting Jedi. You aren't much to look at. Are you here to observe or do you seek to prove yourself in the battle circle? Okay, listen, man. Hold on a second. All right. Talk to me about this battle circle. Battle circle. Talk to me about the battle circle. Our history is one of battles and wars. 
but there are times when even we must deal with peace. The Battle Circle allows us to hone our skills by fighting other Mandalorians. It pales That's to a good reason. Honor in battle, but it keeps us prepared. Talk to the sergeant if you want to fight. Hey, Wooly. Get ready for the next battle, battle, <laughs> battle, battle, battle. You hear the sounds of honor in the background there? Mm -hmm, yeah, a little bit of honor going Ooh. on. Mm, Ooh. Good stuff. All right. This, yeah, if you want to talk to... Yeah. A Mandalorian warrior. I have yet to taste real battle, so I test my worth in the battle circle instead. All right, so he's a rookie. All right, yeah, whatever. Get out of here. You clean fucking yeah, clean yeah, armor. Fucking, fucking, yeah, All exactly. Right. You clean armor, exactly. A few. No fights to the death. Other parts of our training weed out the weak among us, but that isn't the function of the battle circle. There are individual rules for each fight. The warrior with greater honor determines those. Which in your case means any Mandalorian makes the rules. All right. So if you want to do this, there is a uh, also save because yeah, some of these get a little tricky. They're not. It's not quite as broken and borked as the handmaiden fight, where like after you beat a handmaiden, it just resets all your buffs. But uh, they are still similar rules of you can't use force no powers, force powers and, and stuff like that. So. But I clearly get to rock an armor and some some weapons at the very least. Oh, uh, it depends on the fight. I didn't say they had to. Chill. <laughs> For today, I have the honor of commanding the battle circle. I decide who fights who and make sure all the rules are followed. So he's the ref. Got it. Is that? Oh, you think him the voice? Yeah. I don't know. I don't. Hold know. on a second. Keep him talking. The battle circle is only a small part of it's our Travis oh, fucking touchdown. Yeah, it is again. It is again. Absolutely. I mean, they got him for two characters. Yeah. Cool. And here, all of them are tested. If you were to compete, you would have to do so on our terms. For that is the way of the battle circle. Those with great honor decide the terms of engagement. Jedi rely too much on their vaunted powers. I agree. They lose touch of the power of their arms and feet. Super agree. Your horse, would you be a match for the lowliest of Mandalorian warriors? Yes. If yes, actually. But you have a good point. <laughs> but yes. That can be arranged. It's really unfortunate that you're coming across a guy who literally was cut off from the Force and figured out how to do everything on his own without the Force. Yep, this is as he's talking, like, yep, uh huh, no uh -huh, arguments yep, there. Yep, totally agree, follow you. Agree. Still gonna kick your ass. Yep, about that. Uh, I wanna fight in the battle circle. You are new here, so you will fight Davros. Oh, good, the guy we were just shit talking. Has not been able to prove himself in battle. Devro, what are your terms? No weapons, no Jedi tricks, and no items. Just fist and foot. A true test of strength. Put your weapon away, Jedi. Don't step out of the circle and pull any death blow. No one dies in the battle circle. Step into the battle circle. Now you will experience a true fight. Could you imagine in real life if there had, someone had to say, I want a good clean fight, when I say, hold, you hold, and no items. <laughs> <laughs> no Phoenix down for this. Hey. All right, so yeah, it's pretty much just kick the shit out of them. All right. Uh, no force powers. No force powers, no items. So, so then uh, we'll play with our power strike. Power strike, actually flurry might be good. Uh, if we can get master flurry at some point, that'd be perfect, because then it has no debuff to your defense. But he's, he's, low, he's pretty low level. Also, there is an exploit to this. I just can't remember which one it is. It doesn't quite work. The exploits aren't the same as uh, the uh, handmaiden fight. But uh, yeah, we're going to be fine. Can I as push him out of the circle? Uh, you probably can, but... I think that requires a force push. Either way, I don't think we're going to have a problem with this guy. Power dock! Oh, mm, big, big old miss. And he's down. The match between Jedi and Davril is over. The Jedi is the clear and honorable victor. Damn straight. Davril is just a recruit. I'm not surprised you won this fight. A challenger has expressed interest in fighting you. As little hey honor, guys, you, you could give it a second. Yeah, like, Jesus. boy, boy, Jesus. Let me know if you would fight again. It's like five seconds have passed and no combat has occurred in the battle circle. Time to start battling. Resume battle. <laughs> Get ready for the next one. <laughs> this is our battle circle. You should leave us. This place is for Mandalorians alone. Wow, racist. You, you will never truly be one of us. I didn't say I want to. I mean, I think we're doing pretty good as a non-Mandalorian here. So the Jedi Order isn't completely dead. 
You always had hidden strengths. Very hard for even the wisest Mandalore to judge and predict. I have studied much of the Jedi since our defeat. I would be honored to cross blades with you in the battle circle. Can I choose? No. no. It is up to the sergeant. The battle circle was not designed to settle petty vendettas and rivalries. Its primary purpose has always been teaching. Learning from books or holobits is useless when battle rages and soldiers are dying around you. I would agree. Knowledge can only be gained through combat. Perhaps we can learn from one another in time. Arcade mode, got it. Yeah. I mean, like, they're basically, it, it's uh, using the term combat, but it's basically like, no, XP over, uh, over knowledge. Basically. Yeah, you know. and I'm, 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 I'm inclined to agree. All right, and you don't seem as aggressive. This is not a battlefield, Jedi. If it were, I trust you wouldn't have the same opinion. I prepare and train, readying my mind and weaponry for a real challenge. Peace is not our natural element. Mandalorians handle it differently. I focus on educating myself in the martial techniques I will need to succeed in the next war. Yeah, I guess in a in a in a, a clan where everybody's tough all the time, you're gonna have your variable, yeah, uh, uh, types. I remember in some of the art I saw about Mandalorians, like there was that. Um, I think it was a video showing like the original Mandalorian stuff, and they showed you like pictures of a Mandalorian wedding. And it was like a happy Ooh. couple wearing their armor, and they're all like, "Yay, we're getting married for Mandalore!" Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, and I do, I do like the Mandalorians because they're basically like the Sith, but honor. Because right. the, like the reason why the Sith empires never work out in all of the historical stuff is because they always backstab each other and uh, for political gain and for of power course, gain. Whereas like the the Mandalorians are like, no, but honorably though, mm -hmm. no, no poison bullshit, for real. We're gonna do this the honorable way. We're gonna yeah. fight it out. You want the helmet? Come, Come get, it. get it. Come get it. Yeah. Yeah. Here to watch a fight or to participate. I want to fight. Next fight. Wait, do I get anything if I win? We are not yeah. Merchants. Honor. We are the only thing gained and lost here is honor, and perhaps some skill if you have the capacity to learn. Damn. I'm sorry I asked. <laughs> I see none of you are merchants except for Kex. <laughs> oh, and you have that repairman. Do you have janitors too? Be careful when you ridicule a Mandalorian. <laughs> if Mandalore hadn't ordered us, to go, is there anything else you want? <laughs> Shut the fuck up. I want to fight. <laughs> We are not merchants. Th I just bought this gun. gun. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> I literally here's the receipt for the gun I just purchased from fucking the Mandalore Bay. I'm got I've got the shopping bags with me on yep. the ground. Yep. I'm putting them over what Bayo. Bayo's holding my shopping bags. Also, pretty progressive of you to have the renewable bags and not the plastic <laughs> bags. Way to be environmentally conscious. I appreciate that warrior culture. <laughs> Defeating Davril, you have gained some small honor. There is a challenger for you. He is Kex, the quartermaster. No. Since he is the challenger, you get to choose the terms. All right. So, do you want to just kick the ever-loving shit out of him for being a shit, or do you so, want to fight honorably? Well, so so Kex is like, heard you talking shit about my store. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Let's battle. Uh. The honorable choice for bags. Yeah, 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 <laughs> indeed. Uh, so, why does he want to fight me? As quartermaster, he has little opportunity for any glory in training. He isn't as skilled as Dabble. No, for the terms, I can use my lightsaber in the force. He can use anything he wants as well, or hand to hand. Or what's appropriate. The battle circle is for training. It is best to choose something that will test both of your limits. In this case, swords would be a good choice. It is something neither one of you are completely familiar with, but the choice is ultimately yours to make. Uh, I would beg to differ about swords, but you know, you know. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to assume I get more XP for this type of fight. Uh, well, I mean, that's the less honorable way. You're literally fighting max power, max versus, power, max versus, power. versus a guy they just said he is not as skilled as the last guy you just Oh, uh, okay, so going... For, so, going... Hand, -to -hand, hand to hand will be a better damage bonus, because we are hand to hands better, but the, the one he suggested is swords okay. for the honorable fight, so it's your call. I'm going to go with the... Da uh, I'll go with hand to hand, then. That's right. fine. We want to be a punch Jedi, after all. I will send a runner to Kex. Prepare yourself for your fight, Jedi. 
I just I just want to make sure it's not like picking easy difficulty and then medium or something like that. No, this this is still technically a harder fight, but for the honor, if we went in with just like, yeah, I'm just going to cut him down my lightsaber, that's not honor. That's that's like that's just murder, really. Right. 